In our mission to make Gliffy the easiest, fastest diagramming app out there, we've added a bunch of intuitive keyboard shortcuts to help you diagram. If you're on a Mac, you'll use Command for these, and on Windows, you'll use Control plus whatever key that shortcut's associated with. And really, the thing to know is that most of these match the keyboard shortcuts you're probably already used to. So I'm going to drag out a shape. There's Control C for copy and Control V for paste. You can use Control Z to undo and so on. You can find a guide to all of these shortcuts by clicking the help button, then clicking shape shortcuts and document shortcuts to pull up a list of the shortcuts available. We also have this specific set of shortcuts for when you're using a mind map, but those are covered in the how to make a mind map video. In addition to the standard shortcuts you probably already use in other apps like copy paste, you can use control D to quickly duplicate a shape. To group shapes, you can select them all and hit command G instead of hitting the group button up here. And then that allows you to treat them as a group. You can change their style as a group, etc. And then to ungroup them, you use command or control U. And that breaks them out of that group so that you can do your own thing with each one. So I'll change that to orange. If you got shapes layered on top of each other, you can use the control F shortcut to bring a shape to the front. If you want a shape to be sent behind everything else, you can use the control B to send it to the back. So control F to bring it to the front again. Up here in the toolbar, you'll see that I have this snap to grid option toggled on. This makes it so that when I move things around on my canvas, it's constantly snapping them to spots on the grid. And I can turn that off by clicking this button up here or while dragging a shape, I can hold the shift key and you'll see that immediately makes this less jittery and more smooth. So I can put it wherever I want on this grid right there instead of having it snap to the grid. That same rule holding shift allows you to rotate the shape at a very specific angle. So right here you see it's locking in at 15 degree angles, but if I hold shift while I do this, I can turn it to a very specific angle like 32 degrees instead of keeping it locked in at 30. Now last, there are some shortcuts built into the tools up here on the toolbar that you should check out. You can always see what they are by hovering over it. So to add text, I can do Command or Control 2, and that jumps me to my text tool. Then when I want to jump back to the pointer so I can move this text around, I can hit Escape, and it takes me back to this pointer tool up here so I can move this around. The other ones are Command 3 to jump to the connector tool and draw lines between your shapes. And you can do Command 9 or Command 8 to jump to specific shape tools. That's everything you need to know. Remember that you can double check the shortcuts list by clicking Help and selecting the set of shortcuts you want to review if you ever need a reminder. Start weaving these shortcuts into your diagramming and you will be a Glyphy Pro in no time.